Discovering artistic inspiration in something as mundane as the cracks in the pavement in front of my house opened such an inspiration for me in getting started in painting. I got a notice this weekend to move my cars off the street so they could repave them. And as I looked at the pavement, I saw such beauty and I knew I had to capture that beauty. So I grabbed my camera, went out and took pictures. These seemingly ordinary organic patterns hidden under my feet just seemed to serve as a powerful prompt for creating art. And it seemed to capture the essence of life's complexities. The beauty of this approach lies in its ability to transform the overlooked into such a source of creative depth. By embracing the cracks in the pavement as prompts for inspiration in our art, we as artists can explore the organic forms and irregularities found in nature. No other way could these cracks have gotten formed except for the running of the cars and the heavy um, poundage over the pavement creating these cracks and the nature of the cold and the heat. I don't know how these cracks were created, but it's almost like the pattern that they formed. It was like this ebb and flow of life itself with the jagged lines and intricate textures reflecting like trials and tribulations and beauty within my life itself. It's like each crack was telling a unique story and I want to be able to transform that into my paper and canvas through abstract expressionism and let them just kind of tell its own story of emotions and experiences. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Using these as prompts in our art and see where it takes us. The organic nature of these patterns seem to give rise to a more intuitive and emotional charge artistic process than just normally starting a painting. Abstract expressionists thrives on spontaneity and emotional release, and the cracks in the pavement just seem to serve as a powerful catalyst for this approach that I wanted to take. The cracks encourage each of us as artists to channel our innermost thoughts and feelings onto our paper or canvas or whatever you want to use, resulting in hopefully works that not only visually um, capture the beauty, but also give this deep resonance with the complexities of human experience. While I may use these prompts as inspiration only, I'm not sure what will happen, but I know that the paintings that are the most successful of mine are those that come from a deep passion from within. So when I look at the pavement and the cracks and different sections of the pavement and different ways the cracks were expressing themselves through nature, I know that by understanding inside myself some of my emotions and experiences, the combination of the two, I'm hoping will be really powerful. So when looking for cracks in the pavement, it's fun to look for defined patterns with a variety of shapes and sizes. So the more organic the pattern, it seems like the more interesting. So let's hop on down to my studio and like I said, I'm going to use this as inspiration. I may or may not draw these out um, and be exact because I'm not a very exact abstract expressionist, but I definitely feel inspired by the organic nature of them and just the, just the, the way I feel from looking at them. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do. I am just going to, I have some high flows here. I have a um, catalyst. I have a graphite. I have some water. I even have like some silver, pearl, pearl iridescent silver there. I'm going to grab a pellet knife. 
a couple palette knives. Move my paint over. And um, let me see what else. Maybe some more heavier body paint. Some white, some gray. Before I jump into the paintings, I actually want to show you the finished painting so you get an idea. And my point is, by showing you these, is the uh, pavement photographs and what was in my mind was just inspiration for me. Some of the paintings really turned around and as you know, if you follow me, I paint by intuitive and I put a layer down or I put a stroke down and that just informs the next one. Sometimes the painting completely changes and some of these took on that same characteristic where I just paint and enjoy myself as I go. So you might see some of the uh, original uh, idea of the pavement in these. Um, you'll see that I actually threw in some of my collage pieces to also kind of keep with the same idea of the pavement and the cracks, but I really went off on just enjoying myself. Are these my normal paintings? No, um, these are not my normal. The, the gray tones and neutrals are, but the actual paintings are quite different than what I normally paint. But that's what's so much fun. And I really did enjoy adding the uh, different collage pieces. Like this was a piece of a bag that I added into the top. Uh, just kind of seemed to be the curb. When I looked at one of the pictures, there was the curb there with some grasses and then the pavement cracks. And that kind of just came to my mind when I grabbed the, the piece of paper bag and added it in. And then, of course, I added my own marks. I do a lot of these marks uh, with the black and the white uh, charcoal and um, white um, charcoal. And then the same thing with the scratching and kind of the just the miscellaneous marks with a very loose um, pencil. So the... Um, the concept of the pavement was there and that's what I want you to get across. This one really took a turn on me and um, I was really surprised and I think this is the this is the ending of the first one that I started and when you see me start to paint no actually it wasn't the first one I think it was I don't know because I kind of lost track but um, the point is if you if you use as inspiration to paint, that's great. If you use it and you paint more closely in line with the pavement marks, that's also. There's no wrong way to do this. So I got a bunch of supplies here. And the idea is to just use the inspiration of the pavement. We'll also get a pencil. Turn some music on and I'm just going to paint.
so I'm rounding back and this is the last part of the um, looking at each of the paintings that I did and adding collage pieces uh, some of them took a dramatic change as you'll see when you look at the ending one this piece I did actually add some collage pieces that I actually had sitting up on the um, table that I was working on and they just kind of reminded me of the inspirational movement and marks on the pavement and I just thought that they looked perfect for in here and then those wooden pieces I just put down are um, pieces that I add in several pieces of my art and I really like how this ended up so you'll see me just I'll fast forward this a little bit but um, you'll see me just adding uh, doing some final this is the next day so I'm in a little different mood here and I will finish these off and I enjoyed these pieces I like every single one that I did and again there are different than um, you know my normal uh, creating of my larger pieces but um, they tell a story for me and I think the reason why they are so different is because of the fact that I'm thinking about um, the inspiration I felt not the actual photos all the time but just the inspiration of being outside and how the the pictures and the visual in my memory made me feel um, so again your pictures your your paintings may not end up exactly as you think they're going to end up and that's that's kind of the point is to just let it happen for you so i'm going to speed this up a little bit and then let you watch where they where they go and some of them really actually surprised me
So I'm at the end and uh, I let a couple hours go by and I came back down to look to see what I had done. And that's when I started laying these circles down that I had seen that I felt, for me, I just needed those extra little pieces there on this particular art. And then you'll see, I looked at it and I thought, wow, I could make this into a little mini series and I added these. I cut up some more and added them to different parts of um, each of the paintings and I really loved how it turned out. And that last little one, I just added it on the side so that it, um, um, let's see, where did I add it? Did I add it on the side or, yeah, I added it on the side and just cut it off. So, you know, I needed to follow my own instructions on having some things fall off the edge and I hadn't done that yet. So I used gel medium um, because it's a nice um, product and um, my ultimate goal is always you know, if I sell these pieces, great. Um, if I just use these of inspiration for me. And this one, I had a lot of fun. I added the same type circles. I cut them up. And I just had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, again, it's not my normal painting. It's not normally what I would paint. But it's good to go out of your normal painting routine and just enjoy and have fun. And it, um, it was just... I don't know, it was like a definite, when you go out and take the pictures, I don't know, I guess that's sort of the right brain, but when I was thinking about making this video and incorporating that thought, that was very left brain, and then as soon as I started painting and putting these things down, it became very right brained, and my creativity uh, in what... I wanted and the things that I loved as an artist just started to take over as opposed to um, just what the left brain would have normally put down on the paintings. So I loved what I ended up with. So that was very natural for me to grab the white charcoal and the black charcoal when I added these marks in here and and to do some ascetic writing which is just like scribble that doesn't make any sense. Um, you'll see up in the very top where I right there where I just add a bunch of marks. Those are my marks. That's what I do and it just became something that seemed to fit in this painting. Could I do more on this? Probably or or um, you know maybe I won't. I, I really like where it ended up. So again, it's not my normal painting, but I, I really like it. This is closer to what I normally paint. I think that's why this painting took such a turn was because it ended up being something that I normally paint. This last one I think turned out um, a lot of fun. I just had a paper bag sitting there and I looked at this and I thought, I'm not quite sure what I feel like doing with the bottom. I've been painting for a while, getting this video ready for you and I was getting kind of tired. And when I saw that and I just thought about the way the curb um, outside uh, in many of my paintings and where I stood for where a lot of the cracks were, I don't know, just something about it just said, you know, jump in there and um, add that piece of paper bag. So I did. And then, of course, the different marks that are kind of on the bottom, but you see it in the painting, um, which I ended up turning the painting 
the other way, which I liked it better, just seem to fit on this. I think it's just the juxtaposition between the very dark and the big, like, pavement crock looking marks and then the paper bag, which gave the eye a quiet space, and then the lines as opposed to the big circles was just a lot of fun. It's, I don't know, it just became a very natural uh, movement for me to make, and that's what a lot of times the marks that you tend to make over and over again that become your marks start to just become a natural thing for you to put down in your paintings. So I wanted to thank you again for joining me on another video and um, using this prompt maybe um, for you. Next week I have trees, uh, trees without branches that I'm going to do. But using this prompt, you see I just put the um, mat over top. It kind of gives it an enclosure of what the painting could look like framed, which I really liked. So thank you again for joining me. And uh, I just appreciate so much you being a part of my life and my art journey with me. And again, I want to thank you so much to those that have joined my membership. We're having a lot of fun and I really feel that um, I'm growing as an artist in the videos that I've been putting out for you all. So I cannot thank you enough to those that are supporting me in this way. And um, it means so much to me and I did want to take a moment and thank you all and um, share your names out there because you mean so much to me.